Mistakes were clearly made. Serious mistakes were made in trying to do so. I don't want to sound like I've made no mistakes. I'm confident I have. Mistakes are made by everyone. But why do we make the same mistakes over and over again? I lose my cell phone. Uh, I drop my phone everywhere. I procrastinate. Spending money. Okay. On stupid things. Rushing through things. It's constantly late. I date the same assholes over and over again. Oh no! <laughs> the top 10 reasons lawyers get sued for malpractice reads kind of like a list of things not to do at your first internship. And by some estimates, medical errors are the third leading cause of death in America. What's weird is, being aware of how we've messed up in the past doesn't really seem to help. Our brains don't learn from our past mistakes as much as we might hope. Take, for example, one study that had people look at their past spending before going shopping. Remembering their past mistake, overspending, didn't keep them from doing it all over again. It turns out that feeling like a failure just makes you feel really guilty, and in this study, it only encouraged people to make more mistakes. So, how do we stop this vicious cycle? I could have gone for the nice guy, but he didn't have as much swag and he wasn't as cool, right? Right, right. I have all the answers. <laughs> it's, just, it's just putting those answers into practice. Have you ever tried to spend less money? No. <laughs> how did you overcome that, or how did you figure out how not to do that anymore? I slowed down instead of rushing through it. We've all heard the advice that we should just slow down after we make a mistake. And it's true that the decision-making process in the brain does slow down a little bit after we've made the wrong choice. But it turns out that this phenomenon, post-error slowing, isn't as helpful as you might think. The problem is your brain wastes so much time trying to figure out what happened? Did something about the world change? Is there something wrong with me? That it distracts you from finding the right answer. Uh, how many phones have you gone through? Three on phones. Oh, oh my gosh. Like where do you usually find it once you find it? Kitchen counter. Almost always on the kitchen counter. Never where I look first, but it's always where I find it. If you play the piano and you miss a note and if you're in public, it makes, it's a grand mess. I can practice and practice and practice and it's just like, I go and I freeze. Mistake pathways are another way that our brains set us up for failure. When a word is on the tip of your tongue, for example, it is so frustrating. When you finally figure it out, you're certain you're never gonna lose it again. You probably will, though. All that time that you spent searching for the wrong word, you're creating a mistake pathway, which is sort of like a rut that you're gonna get into instead of finding the right word the next time. Every time I get my heart broken, I'm like, hey, next time, I'm just gonna go for the nice guy who's not a bad boy, and I never learn my lesson. <laughs> the good news is we're not really doomed to fail. Instead of dwelling on past mistakes, think about what you wanna achieve in the future. So if you wanna avoid repeating history, it's best not to try to learn from it.